All right, another quick update for you. The wiring on this bad boy is basically done. Um, I got everything coming out of the glove box and uh, down here, last time I showed you that, the limbs coming through all nice. Um, the only thing I did differently is instead of running the power wires, the main wires for the relay board through the loom, I wanted to save a little length, so we went through this upper grommet back here. Uh, this is power, and then ground is hanging out under here somewhere. And they went out through this grommet, uh, just to give us a little more length. We're running low on that big wire. Uh, anyway, let me get give you guys another look into here. All right, so that hose coming out of the loom is for the map sensor that sits on the Megasquirt 2 and it just comes out and this comes down and around and my goal with this is to have the Megasquirt harness plug in here and then when it's done I'm going to loom or tape these together so that there's one big I don't know snake of wires when I'm done so that this guy It'll basically just go back in there, sit down, and uh, when you need to pull it out, you'd be able to pull it all the way out on the front seat to work on it. Because I've had too many projects that are just a pain in the butt because you can't access the wires. And didn't want that to be so on this. Yes, it's a ton of wires, I understand, but I mean, this guy is already like three feet long. So I figured I'd just make this long and make it so that you can pull the whole thing out and set it on the driver's seat and uh, work on it. And since there's like some slots uh, up on the top here and there's a hole back there, we can just run the communication port uh, from the laptop down here, just anywhere so that the passenger can hook it into the laptop. Um, I did get the wide band hooked up, main relays hooked up. That guy's running. Uh, we just need to run a wire, uh, this main harness that goes to the wideband sensor. Put that guy under the car somewhere. Uh, there's a hole right here, but it's only like three eighths. I don't know if you can see it in the bottom of these. There's a little grommet that's two like three eighths holes. Gonna run the fuel pump wire uh, down there. And I was thinking about maybe cutting it or boring it out a little bit bigger to fit that, uh, fit this plug through that'll go up to the uh, wideband sensor. Anyway, uh, let me shut that guy off. There's one loose wire. This is the tack out, and we don't have a tack yet, so. That guy's just going to chill for a minute and probably run him up back in here somewhere because eventually the tachometer will be probably mounted below or up on the steering wheel or something. But, yeah, pretty easy. Try to keep these, you know, as gently loomed and pulled out of here as possible. I'll probably zip tie this up a couple places. I just wanted to look clean. Um... But everything's there. It's really easy. There's a diagram online you just follow. Plug everything in. It's all labeled if you buy the Megasquirt bundle. Um, yeah, this is what... Uh, what is this? This guy's Megasquirt ground. So that goes directly from the board of the Megasquirt to the ground on the battery. Uh, like I said last time, we're not going to the block. We're just going to have everything come here as common. And then wideband comes into this negative side of the trigger, which then comes over and also hooks directly to where the mega squirt is uh, to make sure our wideband has the best grounding and uh, readings possible. We're just going to put that with the mega squirt. So that guy's chilling out. This is the main power to the car harness and it just sits in this loom and let's see oh yeah you can see so we bought a new grommet from Spectre off-road and then I just went to the bottom side of the grommet with this 
I might throw a little loom on all this just to make it look beautiful. But there's your Mega Squirt main power. Just goes inside, goes right to the board. Um, oh, let me show you real quick. Um, let's go here. All right. All right, let's go in here. I want to show you on the board. Just had to solder the connections on here. I think we had, uh, I think we had tw uh, 12 gauge wire. Anyway, it went pretty good. So on the bottom of this board, I actually took the 12 gauge, dropped it down through, and looped it back up the bottom of the board to connect the switched to the main because they're actually on the same thing. Everything switched off of that main relay out in the engine bay. So I uh, just decided to do that. So uh, um, it's really hard to do with one hand. Maybe I'll just bag it, but you guys get the point. You just hook those together. Even if you even if you came off of this and just did a jumper up into the power, or you can run this power fused from the engine or the block all the time and then have a trigger off of your key. Whatever you want to do. There's a couple ways to do it, but shut this light off in here. Anyway, it's getting pretty dang close. Oh, uh, you can't see under here very well, but never mind. You can't see it. Can't really see that, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I was just doing some fuel lines, but I uh, should be able to plug the laptop in and get it rolling today. At least uh, look into all the sensors, make sure we're getting sensors to everything. But that's it, we're, uh, we're almost there. I wanna fire it this weekend, but we'll see. Keep in touch and uh, check it out.